Good morning to you. It must be five o'clock in the East Coast on this beautiful second day of February in 2021. It's time for another Artisan's Tip. I'm your host, Brandon Artisan, and we give our different salespeople, whether they're our major account, key account, retail up and down the street in home automotive sales we give them a little upbeat as they're getting ready to hit today some of you up in the weather snow belt areas may be doing an in call day because uh, it is kind of treacherous i heard from people out there so please be safe what I would like to talk to you today about is common scams doing targeted vehicles. As a salesperson, you're going to hear many times that my trade needs to be included in order to finalize the deal. So let's look at some common scams targeting vehicle sellers. Location, location, location. Beware of someone you meet on Craigslist or via classified ads who is interested in purchasing your car, but want to meet you in a private location. Crimes have occurred when sellers have gone to meet with these so-called buyers in a non-public location. So remember to inform your customers of that. Meet in a safe place, such as a mechanic, where you can have the vehicle inspected in front of the buyer, while meeting in public places, or in front of the police station, or in a public community, frequently par lot. So all of these things are visible. Make sure to meet the prospective buyer in a safe public area if possible. Choose an area that has video surveillance cameras. Also, to meet a prospective buyer alone, take a family member or a friend with you at the meeting. So another thing that happens when we want to scam someone, reject and weird financing requests from the bottom. If you hear the buyer say some crazy things, this includes the buyer wanting to send you a personal check with extra money included for shipping the vehicle. By the time you have shipped the car to the buyer, the check is bounced and you have left with no car deal, no money to show for it. And it's been to let buyers know upfront that you will only accept cash on these types of sales because you never want to go down that road again. Sometimes buyers often to send too much money. They want you to forward the money to someone else. This is always a scam. Be really careful with payment options as they're the most common scams and sometimes the most difficult to detect. If you see through different sites who manage the whole transaction of the passing of the money to ensure and protect all parties at hand. How about shipping of vehicles? Unfortunately, most requests to ship a vehicle are typically scams. Maybe not always, most often don't even agree to ship the vehicle to another country. Many of these requests, no matter how legitimate they sound, are scams. It can be so easy to get caught up in the excitement of a sale that sometimes we let things slide or justify the rationale in our minds. Don't be too eager to close a deal where you miss warning signs. If the deal seems to be true 
or the sale goes through too easily, it probably is. With a little forethought, you can successfully sell your vehicle online in the classified ads. Just make sure to avoid scams like the ones I've been talking about. Once again, Brad and Hardison, President of Champion Strategies with our Hardison's tip for today. I know our brothers and sisters are getting ready. If you can get out in the snow, if not, do it from home. But whatever you do, you go out and you make it a champion day.